A management plan allows the woodland owner to set out clearly the decisions made to achieve their management objectives. It also allows us to consider the management strategy in light of the UK forestry standard and to monitor progress towards achieving the stated goals of sustainable forest management. Without the management plan for this site, the opportunities for multi-purpose outcomes from commercial forestry would not have been realised. Chattel Hope was planted between 1983 and 1986 with mainly Sitka spruce. It forms part of the Kielder Forest Complex on the edge of the Northumberland National Park. To the east is Catcliffe Reservoir built in 1899, a site of importance for nature conservation which leads to the River Reed, a target watercourse under a local habitat action plan. To the north is Whiteley Moor, a blanket bog which provides habitat for Merlin, Stonechat and Black Grouse. The whole area lies within the Northumberland Red Squirrel Reserve. In the past, Chattel Hope and the neighbouring Catcliffe Woodland had restricted access across the reservoir which prevented management interventions and led to an unthinned forest with limited infrastructure maintenance. Key habitats and crop development were difficult to monitor and access for pest control has been restricted. So the owner's key objective is to create suitable access to the forest to facilitate extraction of a range of timber products. The cooperative approach has allowed common problems to be tackled and the consultation process for Chattel Hope has taken into account the neighbouring management plans and forest design plan, ensuring that the management plan is integrated at a landscape scale. This helps to make it a more diverse, interesting and valuable woodland. The plan was completed using detailed maps. This reduced the text required and allowed it to be more easily understood by non-forestry consultees. The long-term vision is clearly illustrated as the maps show the changes being made to the age and species diversity of the forest and the long-term conservation aims. Consultees have been able to clearly visualise the management objectives and get a sense of scale from a landscape perspective. The management plan has enabled us to improve the management of this wood. We completed a detailed forest survey to identify and map an appropriate felling plan which will help us to achieve a sustainable yield of 51,000 cubic metres over the next 20 years. It also allowed us to identify and plan road infrastructure improvements to allow management access to a further 365 hectares of productive conifer, yielding 170,000 cubic metres of timber, whilst improving our ability to undertake pest and disease monitoring and control. Having the plan in place means we're able to get up cost certification, which gives the owner certainty of uplift for 51,000 cubic metres, will fund expenditure and conservation and biodiversity improvements and compensate the increase in open ground within the plan. Alongside timber and access, we also identified new archaeological features, evidence of red squirrels and new raptor species to this area, such as red kite. We are able to identify and protect neighbouring interests such as Whiteley Moor by increasing areas of natural reserve such as open heathland and edgewoodland, diversifying the habitat mix and key wetland features like Chapel Hope Burn. So the management plan allows us to collaborate with neighbouring woodlands such as here, where two woodland properties meet and allows other wood stakeholders to input through the consultation process, ensuring an integrated landscape scale working. It allows us to plan an integrated and diverse structure of habitat, species and age classes, appropriate to the surrounding area, which will improve the forest's resilience to disease such as red band needle blight and Phytophthora remora. When the plan is created, it can be checked against the nine key UKF's criteria and crucially, it can be used to monitor progress against sustainable management objectives. The UK forestry standard strengthens the role of forest planning and having an FC approved management plan is a prerequisite to access grants under countryside stewardship. Managed woodlands are also likely to be more resilient to increased threats from tree pests, diseases and changing climate. This is particularly important for protecting a long-term asset which will provide income into the future.